What's up guys, Sam Dog, the infamous 253, just chilling in my game room, man. I came upon this last night, and you know, Russell Wilson, he's asking for a five-year, $250 million deal from the Broncos for his next contract extension for five years, $250 million. And all I gotta say is, seeing that, you know, that's why we traded him, because of that, the money. So, in the end of the day... Seahawks won that trade because Russell Wilson in the end, he's got like maybe two or three years, two or three good years left of good quarterback play. And you know he's everyone knows he's losing his mobility. So at the end of the day, it was all about it's always all about the money with Russell Wilson, and that was why we shipped him out. So in the end of the day, we got good draft picks and we ended up winning this trade. But seriously, do you really think he's worth $250 million? Especially with him losing his mobility? Nah. And we made the right move trading them. Sure, it'll be a couple mediocre years. Of course, it'll be like 2011 with Drew Locke and Geno Smith this year. But at the end of the day, I'm going to say this. We won that trade. Seahawks won the Russell Wilson trade. Especially if Russell Wilson's going to be asking $250 million, which could come back to bite Denver heavy in the ass at the end. And we got their draft picks to do some good with it. And we just got to keep on doing good with it when we build in the next draft in 2023 which will be interesting to see which if we go for the next franchise quarterback in 2023, which was my feeling when we didn't draft those three quarterbacks in the recent draft. So it'll be interesting. We'll see what happens, but we definitely won that trade. If you ain't with it, you ain't infamous, and as always, go Seahawks.